gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Bookmarks video. So, I haven't done a pickups video for a while, so this is about three week, three or four weeks worth of pickups rail from last month and beginning of this month. Um, I've been spreading it out a bit, I've been trying to do more on my channel, so I've been doing many pickups videos so I can lump more stuff together as well. I've been focusing on doing, trying to do more reviews and, you know, continuing my series of what am I playing at as well. So, let's start off with one that I got uh, near enough beginning of last month, actually. Um, first time using this uh, application, well, I've had it for a while on my phone, and I keep looking on it now and again, but I never seem to find anything on it. So, when I found the person selling some Dreamcast games, and one of the games I was like, ooh, I'm interested in that, and offering a good price on it, well, what I believed what a good price, because I've seen this one go on eBay for about like 25, 30 quid, people are asking more for it as well and um, because of what it is what type of game it is as well so I want to um, so I'm a bit like, mm, ok then I'll, um, I'll buy it you got my attention and so I message him, uh, is it still for sale? I'm like yep, yeah, ok, would so would £15 do it? and they were like, yep, yeah, fine, that's brilliant I was like, ok, burst out, boom so my first experience actually getting some off a Spock <laughs> is quite positive actually and I've been on it more and the, pro the problems that I did made compared what I, compared to when I got this sort of change I've actually, because a lot of people on there will post out so a bit more like in the eBay sort of fashion so actually having someone post game out to you is it is quite nice to have actually so I picked this up anyway Tech Romancer on the Sega Dreamcast um, it's a 3D, for Super 3D, 2D mech brawler with a lot of anime cutscenes in it and anime style, like pictures, stuff like that as well. Game is very fast paced actually. Uh, I do know that, you know, on especially PS1 era, some Dreamcast games, the 3D is not, when it's 3D fighter, it's not always that smooth, it's kind of janky. This is very smooth and it's very fun. You've got um, a lot of characters to choose from in it, and I will possibly do a review on this because it is kind of an uncommon game. I haven't seen many of these about, like on eBay and stuff like that. When I put it in, this very little selection from it, and you know when I'm at conventions, people are asking a fair bit of money for it, mainly because of that there. But well, it's a Capcom fighter, and it's a PAL version as well. So I'm quite happy to pick that up, but a week later I was looking on Gumtree on way back from on, on train on from work, and someone was selling some, and I was like, uh, okay, then I'll offer them, I'll offer, the, I'll offer them some money for it. So I offered them twenty quid for the lot because I've been wanting to get one of this model of of this console anywhere for a while, and they had some games and so I thought, you know what, I'll bite the bullet, I'll go for it. Let's see what it's like. Let's get one because I never hold, I never owned one of these. I only owned the original in the clear shell so having one of this model which has the slightly better screen is nice so pick this up anywhere a silver Game Boy Pocket uh, very nice condition actually uh, a few scuffs here and there but you know that's just general use but overall it has been looked after and the screen is in very nice condition sad to tell but there is a little bit of a scratch but no major on it but you know did have some games in it as well so uh, not the best condition so I would be looking to get re-get this with a better with a better thing but the game is so much fun and it's a classic so it's uh, Super Mario Bros 2 the, and the Golden Coins I've got a Deadly, Deadly Opus which is a, a puzzle title sort of game the reason why I'm a bit curious about this as well would be in a Victor Kai game and I've got a few Victor Kai games on the on the I don't know, Game Boy and they are quite good actually, they are quite enjoyable. Um I've got Earthworm Jim two uh, Earthworm Jim Menace Two Society. Very fun little platformer that. And uh Cast I never heard of it. And it's quite an interesting puzzle game where you have to make yourself to the top of a tower and avoiding traps and stuff like that as well. So very fun and very happy to get one of them consoles with that. 
So, talking about the Game Boy, I went into one of my local charity shops um, this uh, Tuesday, and they had some Game Boy games in sale. They've still got some in, actually, I didn't get them all, because um, some of them were a bit um, 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 and ah, and ah, and they're all good prices for them. I mean, there were two Battletoads games in there, and I might end up getting them, to be honest, if they have them next week. I might end up biting a bullet and getting them too. But I picked out three games. I got um, a Japanese Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I've never played this, and it's a lot of fun. It's just a simple, you know, side scroll action platformer sort of thing, so quite happy to get that. Um, I got Bart Simpsons Escape from Camp Deadly as well. So quite happy to get all that. Um, another action like action platformer side scroller. And I got uh, Konami's and Nemesis, which I believe this is actually called Gradius in America. No I'm percent sure, I can't remember if it is or not. Uh, again, um, real good shoot up real good shmup even. I don't like that term at all. But yeah, pick them up. Um I mean this was three quid. That was that was three quid, three quid on them. Um a bit more than I wanted really pay, but overall still quite happy with them. But then I went into my other other chat shop to normally go in to get like PS2 games and PS1 games because normally I have a good selection on there. And there were two Xbox original Xbox games on like I've sort of they I've started putting film over their games. Nope, brand new. So I thought I'll pick these two up. A pound each. Absolute steal. Thank you, British Heart Foundation, for making them the same price as the rest. Because a lot of places in Morley will do the same as or you know what? We're gonna bunk up the price on them because they are same. Because a lot of places do and it's mind boggly stupid sort of thing. I mean, they're not special. But I'm telling I wanna play them, but there's part of me that I don't want to open them as well. Um but so I got a Colin McRae Rally Free there. All intact. And I got this one as well. Mail got this because it was a racing game by Capcom. So Group S Challenge as well. And again, on my new and these are like a quid each. Oh no, not from British Art Foundation, actually I made a mistake. From Scott. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I did quite well in the charity shots really this week. Um well, because um well actually I'll say I've done well. Over the past couple uh, before this week, um last week, week before, past few weeks that I've been going down. They haven't had no in and always been left at football games and sports types for the PS two and I'm not too bothered about them to be honest. I mean I won't really go out of my way to get one, get them sort of thing. Not for not for that anyway. But um, getting them two racing games, fair enough. But there has been someone who's been buying up all the games, and I asked um, asked one of the owners of the store, and she made me aware that yeah, there's been someone coming in, ev been coming in every day buying every single game and leaving all like football games and stuff like that. So. I'm like, all right, okay then. I, I was just asking, oh, what, what would they like, sort of thing. So I wanted to get an idea of who's buying. But it looks like uh, someone's trying to start up their own second-hand shop. And PS2 games had a great filler for the store. Make the store look fuller than it actually is. And you can sell them off dirt cheap. So, be doing that. So, I went into my local game, anyway, at the White Rose Centre in Leeds. And I picked up uh, four games. Uh... Three of these are were on the three for two, and the other one more on its own. So, the ones on the three for two, which I got, was uh, Arton Iliko Cougar. Never heard of it. The only reason why I got this because it's a NIS America title. So, um, it seems to be a music-based RPG sort of thing with like J-pop. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to giving this a try. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to try at the moment. Um, I got White Knight Chronicles. Looks a bit like an RPG. Interesting, because I've seen it around a lot, and it's always caught my eye. And I've never got it, so I thought I'll get it. I'll give it a I'll give it a whirl since it was cheap. 
and I got this as well just because of the bad name and the publisher Earth Defense Force 2025 so this game played a bit on this now done, uh, done about six or eight missions so you've got four classes that you can choose from normal soldier, air, uh, ranged and can have a proper heavy tank sort of thing you find giant insects like ants on the first few levels and spiders and it's so over the top so cheesy it's like something out of a sci-fi film it's that funny um, and finally you got all these people screaming oh no save me save me and then you just like demolish houses with your super weapons it's, it's a lot of fun um, D3 probably share them at the best cheese in the world and I'm happy to get this. Uh, it is an online game, went on, tried playing online, no one playing it, so I'm like, alright then, I'll just do single play, it was really cheap. And I got this actually for free, pretty much, because it was the. Uh, I got this with my points, which I had on my game card, because I do buy new games usually from game, and I've been wanting this game. Everyone criticises it, and I don't know why. Because I enjoy this game. Yes, the controls now. Yes, the cameras now. The story is complete ludicrous, and the voice acting is atrocious. But you want to know something? It's so much fun, and that is wet. Meaning wet work. You're an assassin, but it's so stylized with like you know slow mo and like being able to shoot people two guns at the same time or sliding on the floor or running across walls or slashing people in half with your samurai sword. It's it's just a fun fun nonsense game and a lot of people criticise this and I'm one of the people who are like it's a fun game was I having fun playing it? Yes it's a good game so it was like I had two quid on my card it was two quid I was like I'll take it I'll take it again I'm happy with this I like this game this game is one of the I call hidden gems on the PS3 all of them very good condition manuals and everything as well so we get on to the last one so I've been messaging someone about this, uh, trying to you know negotiate some prices with them over the past few weeks. Because I've been wanting this console for a while, um, and I've been wanting this version because I'm a fan of the first game. I want this version of the console, and I've you know going back and forth with them. I'm like, look, if you don't sell one a month, will you do it? Hundred grand. And they were like, yeah, if you don't sell, I'll give you 100 quid. I'm like, right, okay. Go tell them off and rest them saying, is it still sell? Yeah, 100 quid, yeah. <laughs> so I got one of these consoles, and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. It's a great system. I don't know why it's been getting flat. I know there isn't many must have games on it, but I love it. I love the controller. I love everything about it. It's a g pure game, it is a gaming console and nothing else and the pack which I got came with a game that I've been wanting to get since it got announced for the console it was the, it was the main deciding factor of getting it and I got the console with that game and I'm like yes I'm proper at it and great console, love it very much I've, I've got it set up downstairs <laughs> so I'll just show you the box I bought a Wii U! It's amazing. I'm very pleased to have this bad boy in my collection. Xenoblade Chronicles X. If you know me, you know I'm a fan of the first Xenoblade Chronicles. I've actually got a review on YouTube. One of my first ever kind of reviews as well was for Xenoblade Chronicles. So getting the sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles X is absolutely fantastic. It's the 32 giga version and Everyone complains about that, this tablet. Yeah, yeah, it's got a short battery life, but you want to know something? I have, I'm using this more now, even to play like some Wii games. I'm using this more because I can play on it and not have to interrupt like you know my dad or all while watching TV. That is fantastic. And being able to use that thing as a remote as well makes my life easier as well. Like, I'm gonna play on it. Okay, I'll switch off TV. Da 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 da. Boom. So I'm controlling TV with my, you know, controller. So. Uh, downloaded a demo for Bayonetta 2 as well. Enjoyable game, very fun, very energetic, very smooth actually compared to the uh, Bayonetta 1 on the PS3. So I'm looking into getting the Bayonetta remake sort of thing that did for it 
see if that runs at the same frame rate because it is so smooth and so much more enjoyable. Tim Black Chronicles X, it's a beautiful looking game and it runs at a good frame rate as well. It's smooth, the action's great and beautiful environment. I'm looking forward to getting more games on it. Seriously, this console, this is the only next gen console that I want. It, it sold, having this game and Bayonetta 2 on it sold me on it. I'm not even going to get a PS3 for Kingdom Hearts 3. I love Kingdom Hearts, but the PS3 to me is just too much. So getting this anyway, I'm very happy with it and looking forward to it. So if you can actually suggest any more games for the Wii U, um, I've been looking into getting Project Zero. It is very expensive though getting Project Zero on this, but I've been looking into getting it. And it can't, by the way, all complete as well. But yeah, very enjoyable. But if you know, you got any games that you think you might like, let me know. Um so yeah, anyway, I got that there. Um I was expecting, you know, some other bar bar for the sun and something like it, so it's a lot of cheap sort of thing. I was wrong. It's uh oh uh, it's an old couple, about sixty, seventy year old. I, I went in and got that and I just noticed glass cabinet full of Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy stuff proper RGP fans um, stuff like they've got in the cabinet as well Chrono Cross Xeno, Xeno Gears and um, Tales of Mana as well I think it's our Secrets of Mana the one for the Playstation they've got them NTSC and it's like and the one were like yeah I got it and I don't really like the controls on it I like I, I wish I could play you know with just the normal Wii U control like I did with the other and stuff, and I saw, I went, oh, you're fan of Final Fantasy, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, I got a PlayStation when I was like, a bit younger, 70 years old, so I probably got it when she was about 40. Um, and I love Final Fantasy games, I was getting them on the Super Nintendo, or importing them and stuff, I'm like, where have you been? I've lived in Molly all my life. Went, have you lived in Molly all often? I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, where have you been all my life? <laughs> you people are the coolest people I've ever met. So, yeah, it was amazing, it was amazing odd experience getting that. So I'm very happy to get that. Um and yeah, so that's been my pictures that I, I said I won't be doing another one now for probably till uh ne end of the month, beginning of next. Okay, I'm trying to keep these monthly and then just do what am I playing at throughout that period. So yeah. Um if you like my videos like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Bullet Marv, uh, Marv Retro Reviews. Um, all this stuff will also be linked in the description below. Uh, you can talk to me through. I can check my collection on RetroClip.com as well. Um, as well as you can follow me on Twitter at Bullet Marv Retro. And yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I've hit 60 subscribers, and it does mean a lot to me when people do subscribe. Still. Um, I like the idea that people are watching my videos and do enjoy them and do want to see what I pick up or do want to see what I'm playing at or want to hear my opinions on certain games. So yeah, I've been Bullet Marv and as I say, at the end of every video, keep on gaming. <laughs>